How's it going, Laser Bruce's up? I'm six gonna welcome back to Yakuza 3 Remastered. We are still hunting down the Kanda here. Um, fighting our way to wherever the hell he's gonna be. I don't think we're gonna have a trouble though, because these guys have been pretty weak. Which has been nice. At least I'm prepared with a um fire extinguisher. I see one with a light on. This one has a light on. Not that one. This one has a light on. Okay, having a light on is probably not a good enough clue, to be honest, <laughs> now they think about it. It's probably not enough information to go on. Let's move up. Any lights on down here? Nothing down here. Oh, we got a couple over here, though. There he is! <laughs> He's going down again. Bastard. Oh shit! Didn't expect you guys just came out of nowhere. Coffee table attack! <laughs> Get out of my way. Bastard. <laughs> Wait, what? Did he go into one of these rooms again? He's not getting back up. I swear to god, every lady in this building is the same lady. Okay, she's wearing glasses. So she's slightly different. I guess that means he's further down? Right? I think that's every room, every room on this floor. <laughs> None of them are ever doing anything though, they're only ever lying next to each other. What kind of hotel is this? <laughs> He's going back up again. We're holding a so why don't we just cut his head off? As he runs out, we just chop his head off. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna kill you. I'll be right back. <laughs> Get upstairs, right? Man, I love how we get to keep a sword every time. I think we've been in every room on this floor. Definitely. Ooh, a golf club. I'll try and remember that, see. I might need that later.
Get my heal on. I've disturbed so many people's nights tonight. Oh, here we go. Ready to get grabbed from behind. Baseball bat. <laughs> okay, that was a weird one. Why well, is that lady watching you do push ups? Inevitable. KO. <laughs> I guess it's further up. How many floors have we, we seem to be going up and down, up and down, up and down? I'm not sure which, how many floors we've actually explored. Okay, we're gonna get grabbed from behind again. Come on, we need some more crazy shit happening in each of these rooms. Come on. They said anything could happen. Get it for the back stairs. I need the sword. I'm not leaving the sword behind. Anybody home? Knock knock. Ooh, it's fancy up here. Wow. They said this place is run down. Look at it. It's beautiful. Oh no, the hippo's gonna attack. <laughs> He's actually like a hippo. <laughs> Stay away from the water's edge. I actually think you could beat us because you could get the drop on us. Gross. <laughs> Let's give him a beat down. I already regret it because I have to look at your ugly ass. Tsuyoshi Kanda. Come on then. Yeah, we can't, we can't grab him. Okay, good to know. I really wish we could throw him. Oh, come on. That's bullshit. Three in a row? Oh, I see how it is. We can start using weapons out here. I can't do anything. He's stun locking me. Fine. Jesus Christ. My hits don't seem to don't stun him, but his hits definitely stun me. Oh. 
You're a very irritating man. Oh, there's no more, there's no more furniture around. That's it. You beat me with that, and you break it. That's it. No more furniture for you. <laughs> okay, never mind. He's gonna make shift some furniture. <laughs> Psycho. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty strong. He's pretty strong. Guess I didn't give enough credit. There's not really much I can do about that except just tank the hits. You know? Tanking the hits is pretty much the only option I've got. No, not my heat. Get my health back though. God damn it. I can't break through his guard. See, I can't throw him. I'm very limited with my options at the moment. Nice. Oh, he's gonna make this difficult for me, isn't he? <laughs> But there's not anything I can use to beat him to beat him the fuck up. Ow. We give it up already. Already? But is his health isn't really that low. <laughs> He's still got a whole health bar yet. Shit. He actually let his guard down for a bit. I can't pick him up, so I might as well just stomp his ass. Like that. He's such a coward sometimes. <laughs> oh, that's gonna feel lovely. <laughs> You've no health left. All your bones are broken. <laughs> さあ、お前の知っていることを話してもらおうか。俺は何も知らん。この後に及んで何も知らないとは言わせねえ。柏木さんを弾いたのはお前の組だろ。シャワー、柏木さんを弾いて何のメルトがあるんじゃ。お前
し、多分多分この絵階段は浜崎や。浜崎だと。し、あいつは密かにカブロチを狙っとったんじゃ。カシアギを弾くと時もある。なんだと。You want the control of Kamurocho as well? いやつは横浜で力を溜め込んで、攻める機会狙っとったんや。ほんまや。前にうちのシャムで暴れた中国人問い詰めた時、そんな話しとったわ。<笑>兄貴。そっちは大丈夫だったかええ、なんとか。下にも結構数がいて、手こずりましたが。ネバティにバックオルム。このボケがこいつが、神田ですかああ。こいつ。もっと問い詰めなくていいんすかだね。今回の件。<笑>こんな単純なやつが書けるように。Yeah, he's a moron. <笑>多分こいつは。どうして大悟が撃たれたのかすら分かってね。I think he's dead. <笑> he must have hit his head on the floor. 怖い街なんすね。リキア、中原の一件。俺が絶対に何とかする。だから悪いことは言わない。今のうちに大きなわに。やです。リキア。自分は絶対に。中原の親父を撃った男をこの手で。敵を取りたいんです。お願いします、兄貴。自分を東京にいさせてください。お願いします。わかった。だが。一つだけ条件がある。もしお前があの絵の男を見つけ出したとしても絶対に一人では動かないでくれ約束できるかはいよしそれじゃあ今日は一杯飲もうお前にこの町を案内してやる怖いことばかりの町じゃねえことを教えてやるよ Not gonna lie, it's pretty scary. <laughs> I, wouldn't wouldn't, I wouldn't hang around here at night time. Fuck that. Alright, l i d i k i a Where to? Hello. Anaki, uh, I do want to go sightseeing and all, but you think we can grab some grub first? f i g h t i n g always puts a hole in my stomach like none other. Sure. You have anything in mind? So Heck yeah, I do. Yaki Niku. So you don't want something a little more local? You can get yakiniku wherever you want down in to Okinawa. <laughs> well, yeah, but there's this one Korean joint that I've been dying to go to. It's the one they always show on the tube. Where all the celebrities hang out and stuff their faces. I heard people even saw the Korean megastar Il Yu Jin chilling there a few years back. I remember him. That does sound familiar. I'm not sure if it's the same place, but I have a restaurant in mind. Let's go. Nice. You're the best, Anaki. Go on. Email. Oh, it's Mac again. Hey, kitty, you son. Let me cut to the chase. I got another shot for you. There's this rock and sober joint in the southeast part of Camarocho, but the owner's totally bonkers. Apparently, his noodles suffer for it. Anyway, keep your eyeballs trained on that owner, and your chance will come in no time flat. Probably when he hops on his bike, if I had to guess. I'll keep that in mind. I will bear that in mind. And we got one at the bowling alley as well, which we need to hit up at some stage. Once we get some food with Riki, I suppose. I mean, we are pushing ahead with the story pretty rapidly, in all honesty. But it's hard not to, the story's kind of intertwined into everything else. And it is easy to blow it off and go and do other shit, but we got Riki with us at the moment, I'd feel bad not feeding him, you know. He looks, he's, he reckons he's hungry. This place? Oh, this oh. place. So this is the place. wonder if there are any stars in there. Get enough of one room and you got a whole damn constellation. Guess we won't know until we go in. Come on. Please. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't see any celebrities. Hell, 
There aren't even any other people in here. Hey, you can't expect it to be packed all the time. Come on, let's order. It's my treat, give it who you want. We can afford it. <laughs> Whoa, really? Thanks a ton, Anaki. Alright, let's go with two beers. Some kalbi, some sirloin, an order of salted tongue, a plate of tripe, and oh, some... What is it? Iberico pork. While you're at it. Uh, Likia? Oh yeah, and make all that a double portion for me and my Anaki here. Then I'll have a kimchi combo and <laughs> kalbi soup on top of that. And some nice chilled noodles for dessert. Okay. Holy fucking Jesus. You want some soup too, Anaki? I don't think my stomach can fit all that. He's Goku-ing it out here. <laughs> it's gonna be a, quite the bill. By the way, Anaki, I was strolling around town for a while before we met up. Sure are a lot of interesting folks here in Komodocho, huh? Weirdos, businessmen, schoolgirls. Yeah, you could just spend an entire year people watching and never run out of new subjects. <laughs> Makes you wonder how their lives all led up to this point. Converging in this city. Hmm. I imagine most of them are born here, right? Totally. Wonder if I can't can find why I'm what I'm after here. What are you talking about? Come on, Anarchy. We talked about this right after you beat the human stuffing out of me. I'm looking for a guy to finish my viper tattoo, remember? Right, sorry. Your other tattoo artist died before he could finish it, didn't he? Mm-hmm. I don't want to trust my viper to anyone who doesn't get the spirit of Okinawa what the spirit of Okinawa is all about. But I'm kinda of starting to think someone here might have what it takes. Guy who's lived in Kamurocho, seen all sorts of people coming and go. Even if they're not from Okinawa, I bet he could get what I'm going for. What do you think, Anaki? Well, I might just know someone who can help. For real? Can we go see him? If we got the time, I mean. Sure, why not? Well, let's do some sightseeing first. All we've done so far is sit in this restaurant. Totally. Let's get a move on. What are we going to see? Millennium Town? Man, Anaki. That was like a party in my mouth. I guess you could put it that way. That was like a hellscape in my wallet. That comes to 65,000 yen, sir. Ouch. Thanks a lot, Anaki. Of course. 65,000 yen. Holy crap. Well, that was filling. Now what? Who spends that kind of money at one meal? Jesus. Alright, let's explore. Guess I can hang out with Rikia some more. Rikia, you have anywhere else you want to go? You bet I do. I've heard some amazing things about that shop, Don Quixote. They say the theme song will stick in your head for days. We don't have them down in Okinawa, though. Don Quixote, huh? Isn't that to the south? Should be easy Anaki. enough. They're open 24 hours a day, right? Anaki? Yep. Kamurocho is the city that never sleeps, after all. Wait. And do other Don Quixote's close like regular old shops? That's right. This one has special hours because of where it is. Huh. Cool shit. Anyway, let's get moving. Yeah. What are you two doing? Can I talk to you? Ah, oh, karaoke. Okay, now we're talking about Don Quixote, because we're going to Don Quixote. Okay, whatever. I never know when it's someone important or someone that's just talking out their ass <laughs> in relation to whatever we happen to be doing at that moment, you know? It's hard to tell the difference. It is hard to tell the difference. What are these two doing? Are they talking about Don Quixote as well? I'm going to cry if they are. Well, they got a tattoo huh? Now you're one of the boys. Uh, well, not quite. It was so damn painful I couldn't even stand to get the outline done. You're joking, right, kid? You think anyone's going to take you seriously with a half ass tattoo like that? Get back over there and do it right. Man, but... That reminds me. Riki was saying his Viper tattoo wasn't complete. Master Utabori might be able to finish it up for him. Maybe I should take Riki over to the Divine Dragon later. It's just off Pink Street. Okay. <gasps> Side mission. Side mission. Come on, Riki. This is what we do in Kamurocho. Side missions. <laughs> You need to know how to do the side missions. It's the most important thing. Divine Dragon? What kind of shop is this? It's a tattoo parlor. Seriously? You're telling me there's a tattoo artist holed up in here? Yeah, Master Utabori. He's the one who takes care of the tattoos on my back. Mm. Tattoo on my back. Wow, this guy's gonna be legendary if he did your dragon. <laughs> you starstruck? No, it's just... My Viper's not finished. 
So I was thinking maybe, you know, I get it. You want me to ask Master Utabori if he'll finish it up for you? <laughs> Would you? I'd be honoured to get work done by the same guy who worked on you, Anaki. Follow me. Master Utabori. Sorry to intrude. Kiryu, what brings you here? I was wondering if you'd work on a tattoo for my friend here. His name's Rikia. A friend, huh? Interesting. His artist passed away before he could get his tattoo finished. So we were hoping your needle might be the one for the job. I'm sorry, but you'll need to find someone else if that's what you want. I can't add to another artist's work. But, listen well, Kitty. A tattoo changes a man's life. You know that better than anyone. The creator and the receiver must both be prepared to bear the lifelong responsibilities that tattoo brings. So I'm sorry, but the answer must be no. Call me a stubborn old man if you wish, but this is something I won't compromise on. Okay. We'll find someone else. Ah? Huh? Hey, hold on a sec. You're just gonna refuse before you even see the damn thing? You're not an artist, you're a coward. Rikia, that's enough. Sorry, Anaki, but I can't let this go. That viper is the soul of Okinawa. How can he talk like that if he won't even look at my tattoo? I admire your spirit, boy, but don't presume to lecture me on my own trade. Fine then, I'll just show you. Take a look at this. どうだ。恐れ入ったか。あんたが取るほどの掘りしか知らねえが、俺の羽部には叶わねえだろう。ほら、ここのところよく見ろ。この色、柄。すげえだろ。Kitty, <笑> this boy is quite the fire in his belly. I'm sorry for how he's acting. He doesn't usually do this. Actually, he kind of does. Well, let's hear it, old man. Tell me what you think. It's fine work, yes. Not only does its technique impress, but I can tell the original artist truly cared about both you and this tattoo. <laughs> Damn right he did. So what do you say? You gonna finish the job for me? Yeah. Please forgive me. I'm afraid I just can't do it. <gasps> huh? But why not? Your artist did an exquisite job on the piece. There's no doubt about that. But as I said, both the tattoo's creator and the receiver must be prepared to bear the responsibility it brings. <sighs> Not this crap again. I don't know you. I don't know your ambitions, and I don't know why you've chosen to carry that tattoo. As long as those things remain a mystery to me, I cannot do what you ask. Pfft. Stubborn old shit. Watch it, Rikia. My apologies, but I'm going to have to ask you to leave now. Right. Sorry we barged in on you like this. Come on, Rikia, let's go. Bad, Rikia. Acting like an arsehole in front of him. Making me look bad. What a waste. I figured the guy who did your tattoo was going to be some badass needle sl slinger, not a hack job. That's enough, Rikia. Learn to show some respect. <laughs> what the hell's happening here? Hmm? I'm so sorry. You thugs are all looking for a quick buck, Brett. Uh, just take my wallet. Don't hurt us, please. Huh? Thugs, he says. First you slam your drunk ass into us and now you insult us? We can leave more than whatever mothballs you got in your pocket to cover our hospital bills. But, that's all I have on me. <laughs> well, that's an easy fix, ain't it? There's an ATM right over there. How about we make a little withdrawal? <gasps> Please, I can barely afford rent as it is. Leave them alone. You're not hurt, you're just faking. <gasps> and who are you, huh? Didn't your kindergarten teachers ever tell you to mind your own damn business? Why would... I don't understand the get walked into and act like you're hurt and then they need to compensate you for it. I don't understand it because it sounds ridiculous. Because they're acting like they're tough. But if you just walk into someone, if they're really tough they wouldn't get hurt that easily. It's ridiculous. I think you're a tough guy but if I just wander into you, gently, you get hurt and you need to go to hospital. Yeah, big fucking pussy. <laughs> Hulk smash! <laughs> that all you got? 
I was expecting a big city boys to put up more of a fight. D Thank you. <laughs> There's nothing. Now get out of here, okay? And next time, laugh the booze. Oh, we will. I'm never drinking again, mark my words. Come on, honey, let's go. Look at that miss- look at the Mr. Big Shot coming to save the day. Huh? I see you home my boys out to dry. Good. They deserve a nice ass whooping for starting shit where everyone can see him. Huh? Who the hell are you? Who am I? Me? <laughs> you ain't from around here, are you? There's not a soul in Kamurochi who doesn't know the name Hyoi Muroto. I don't know the name. ボケ。行きましょう、兄貴。バカな相手をしてる暇はないですし。ああ。そうだな。ま、天下だぼが。わしの話を追ってないっちゅうね。じゃあ、信じ。超えるのも大概にしとけよ。ガキが。ガキや
What's Pink Jacket Man trying to sell? Whatever he's selling, I don't want it. Whoa, it's even more incredible than I was expecting. Sure are a lot of teenagers in there. Yeah, it's pretty popular with the young crowd. Anyway, look at wait out here. Don't buy more than you're willing to carry, okay? Of course not. Be back in a bit. Wait outside for you like you're a child. Sorry to keep you waiting out here, Anaki. Looks like you bought the entire store. <laughs> Guess I got kind of carried away. But it was also cheap, I couldn't help it. Oh, and I nabbed some souvenirs for the kids back at the orphanage. You did? I really appreciate that, Ikea. No, it was nothing. Anyways, you think there's somewhere I can dump all this stuff till we head home for the night? Maybe one of them coin lockers? Oh, yeah. There are some lockers just down the street. Sweet. Lead the way. There you go. I need to unlock some of those anyway, so it works out. I'm pretty sure I've got some keys I haven't used now. So, uh... We can do that at the same time. It'll save me a trip. Why is everyone so scared of me? I don't understand. Here we are. Great. Just give me a sec. Or two. How many lockers are you going to need for all that? All settled, Anarchy. Looks like we're done with the shopping leg of the trip. What now? I'm quite happy to keep going. I can hang out with Riki some more. Riki, you have anywhere else you want to go? Hell yeah, I do. Get me on the roof of that monstrosity over there. <laughs> the Millennium Tower. It's got to be like the tallest building in the world, right? I want to see how Tokyo looks from up there. I'm not sure we can do that. The cops are all over the place. <sighs> yes, they would be, huh? No surprise after what happened. Sorry about all this, Anaki. I get so caught up in my own hype, I never stopped and thought about what you were going through. It's okay, Riki. Hey, why don't we go someplace quieter? Hmm? Why? Well, I mean, I never met this kashiwagi son personally, but he was real important to you, right, Anaki? Yeah. Then it's settled. Anyone who's important in your eyes is important in my eyes, too. Come on, I grabbed some beer over Don Quixote. Why don't we sit down, crack him open, and pay tribute to kashiwagi son? Rikia. How about it, Anaki? Sure. That sounds nice. Public Park 3 is a pretty quiet place. Are you allowed to drink in the open? In Tokyo? That's... I don't know. It's like, in, in a major city in this country, if, you, if you're if caught outside drinking. I need Chucky in the cop car. <laughs> oh, we're carrying too much shite again. I never use weapons, well, I use weapons, but not ones I carry, just whatever shit I pick up. Is that it? I just like whatever I can get my hands on at the time. Rather than using the stuff in my inventory. I really don't need to carry weapons around. Although it'd be nice for emergencies, you know. In a boss fight. When there's no furniture around to beat them with. Kashiwagi-san. Anaki. What's up? What kind of guy was Kashiwagi-san? Kashiwagi-san, he... He knew what my... He knew what my adoptive father, Kazama-san, stood for. He kept the Kazama family legacy alive when he took over as their second patriarch. Honestly, Kashiwagi-san was... Great at leading from the shadows? He didn't really like being the center of attention. But I can't tell you how many times he saved my life. It was also thanks to Kashiwagi-san that Daigo was able to take control of the Tojo, despite being so young. He was a priceless asset to the clan. Wow, I always figured he was amazing, but never knew just how much. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I was especially in awe of... How level-headed he was? I think that's why Kazama-san trusted him so much. Kashiwagi-san really lived up to that trust, too. He always kept tensions between families from boiling over. Though, of course, that made some of the patriarchs think he was soft. Too soft to lead. That's a reputation you want to avoid in this line of work. Even so, you can't just fight people for no reason. You have to choose your battles, and Kashiwagi-san knew how to do that better than anyone. Well, you must have really respected him, Anaki. 
He was a good man. We should probably get going, Luke here. Mm -hmm. Anywhere else you had in mind? I don't know, all this talking kind of made me sad. Hey, why don't we go over to one of those bikini bars I've heard about? <laughs> what do you say, Anaki? Seriously? Hell yeah. Can't expect me to leave Tokyo without first getting a little taste of the ladies. But uh, I can go by myself if you really want. That might be for the best. Sorry, I'm not really feeling up to it. Very good. My bad, Anaki. I was just trying to cheer you up. Don't worry, Rikia. I'm okay. Go have some fun. But, just go. And Rikia? Thanks. What's that? There's nothing, Anaki. Just wish I could have been more help, you know? Anyway, guess I'll get going. Think you can manage on your own? <laughs> oh, totally. I got a pretty good feel for the layout by now. It's pretty grid-based, if you say so. By the way, there's a bar called New Serena over on Tenkaichi Street that we're going to be using as our base of operations. Head there when you're done wandering. And feel free to give me a call if you have trouble finding it. Yeah. Will do. Catch you later, Anaki. By the way, Anaki, here's a little thank you for showing me around. Zero Jewel? Ah, oh, that'd be for gambling again. Well, later. That's a good one, too. If you're going to gamble up a storm. Hello? There's rule that's the way to make money, man. Kitty, it's me. How things go with the old with old Baldy? I found him. He was horrible, all right, but he's pretty small time. I don't think he has the wit to outsmart Kashiwaki son. Damn it, and here I thought we had a lead. Guess we weren't as close as we thought. Anyway, I'll fill you in when I get back. You over at Saturn now? Yep, Mama said we can use it whenever we want. Just meet me over here, okay? Sure, see you soon. Try not to get too distracted on your way here. Dude, that's what I do. That's <laughs> exactly what I do, I just get distracted. It's right there though, like, it's, we're already there. Oh, this cat. It's Italy cat. The elusive, the elusive Italian cat. Lasagna? Here, yeah, kitty. That's not a happy cat. I need a distractor. What should I give? I have a bell. I don't have anything else a cat would want, though. This won't work. Just shred my arm to ribbons if I try to grab it. Alright. What do we need? Cat food? Give cat food. What? <laughs> Fuck's sakes. <laughs> it's only a safe spot to dump all my shite. Well, I got distracted, just like he said not to. We all knew it was going to happen, though. Alright, I know it's a little bit shorter than usual, but I think I'm going to wrap this one up here. Uh, we'll head to the safe spot. I'll dump pr everything, pretty much. Probably even the, the weapons I'm carrying. Just keep my um, armor stuff. And we'll save here, and we'll wrap it up into the next one. We'll continue the main story stuff, and get that cat and everything else. So, yeah. We'll leave it here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking it out with me and I'll see you in the next one.